Oof. <laughs> this is going to be exciting. <laughs> so, about a week ago or so, I posted a video online about um, turning the cup of a wooden bowl, a segmented wooden bowl, on your table saw. And uh, that was a fun project. And I really wanted to take that to the next level. Um, so, what I've got here <laughs> is one jig that will turn the inside and the outside of a wooden bowl. So, sorry, I got the garage door shut so we can't hear all the cars coming by. But anyway, rather than sit here and talk about this jig and explain everything to you, I am just going to go ahead and fire it up and give it a shot. Now, this is, keep in mind, I have not tried this yet. This is my very first attempt at it, and I wanted to record it, you know, just in case it does work. <laughs> but, um, you know, just a, a word on safety. Uh, you know, don't mess around with stuff like this unless you really, really know your equipment. And even then, there's a, oh, there's a, you know, there's an air of danger that comes along with this. I mean, I, I got everything secured down, and this jig is built very, very sturdy. So, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, here we go. Grab my safety glasses. Check it one more time. Make sure everything's tightened down. It's about as tight as I can get. All right. Wish me luck. Quite a bit of vibration. I did the best I could to make sure that blank was centered out, but uh, there was still quite a bit of vibration. It's a good thing I built this really sturdy. So I'm going to pull it off of there, pause the camera, and see what it looks like. All right, I threw a little oil on there just so it would stand out a little bit. I didn't see that. There was a big old knot in there. That's okay. This is uh, an experiment anyway. So. But yeah, that worked out pretty good. Um, there was a whole lot of vibration to begin with. I tried to get the blank as balanced as I could, but you know, there's no getting it perfect. Once you got it about halfway through, the, the vibration knocked right out. So, looking good. I'm gonna get the jig reset. Uh, I gotta drop it down and then I can turn the cup out on the inside. So that'll take a few minutes. I'm gonna put pause the camera while I do that. Sorry about the noise. I had to get a fan on. It's South Carolina. It's hot here. <laughs> anyway, one of the things I had forgotten to mention is that for the inside cup, I use a seven and a quarter inch skill saw blade, and I'm just switching that out now. Um, obviously, if you had seven or eight of these to do, you'd want to set up for each individual process. But anyway. We finish doing this. I'm going to get this centered on the jig and reset it. We'll uh, we'll do the inside cup. Well, I've got the bowl repositioned in the jig. 
um, and it just sits flat on here, or it's almost flat on here. And um, if I wanted to feel a little bit more secure about it, I'd put a couple of braces back here, but honestly, I think this is going to be fine. Um, it's in there really good. I really made sure that this was all secure. So I'm just going to turn this on. It's going to go flying, and I'm going to work the blade up into it and see how it behaves. And I thought I'd give you uh, the angle that I see when I'm doing it. So uh, here we go. Let me pull this thing off of here and see how it looks. Well guys, there it is. Uh, wooden bowl turned on the table saw, both the inside and outside. <laughs> I'm going to play around with this. Not bad for my first one. I'm going to play around with the thicknesses and match, you know, just by raising and lowering the blade on the outside, I can bring this down narrower. Uh, maybe using a larger blade in here, I can play around with some ideas, but it's definitely possible. <laughs> That's exciting. All right, we'll I'll talk to you all later. Oh, hey, don't forget Facebook, guys. I'm on it now, and I'm, I post pictures of these jigs as I'm building them, and it's kind of fun. You can guess what, they, you know, take a look at it. Maybe you know what it is, uh, and I like to... It's a lot easier to talk back and forth with people who are interested on Facebook. I'll put a link down below. Make sure you check out my other videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Everybody have a good day.